let's start the assignment 4 the example is this is the other kind of example in r3 find the basis of the yz plane the yz plane contains y axis and z axis so to find the basis of this yz plane let's take w to be the yz plane in r3 what kind of element will be present in w yes because it is only the yz plane which has only y and z axis so what kind of element this is there is no x the value of x is 0 coordinate of x is 0 and we have y and z right where y and z belongs to set of reals let then this W is a subspace. It is already a subspace of R3. Right? Okay. Now to find the basis for this YZ plane, we have considered this W to be the subspace. Now let's take one element from this W. And that element is just this 0YZ. Can I write this? 0, Y, Z as the linear combination of 0, Y, 0 plus 0, 0, Z. Because if you add these two, you will get 0, Y, Z. Right? So when you take Y common, you get 0, 1, 0. And then Z into 0, 0, 1. So this 0, Y, Z is a linear combination of 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. There is no need to take the scalars alpha, beta, then finding the values of alpha, beta. There is no need of that. Because I, can, I know that 0, y, z can be written as this. Simply, I get the two, uh, it, I, I get the linear combinations of these two vectors. Right? So, now because 0, y, z is arbitrary, which means every element of W is a linear combination of these vectors, which means W is generated by these two vectors. So, W is generated by these two vectors. Enough to show that these two vectors are linearly independent now. So, let me take the linear combinations. So this is alpha 0 1 0 plus beta 0 0 1 is equal to 0 0 0. So this is equal to 0 alpha beta if you add this. So this is 0 0 0 and when you equate you get alpha equal to beta equal to 0 which means all the scalars are 0. So the vectors are linearly independent. Now, since these vectors are linearly independent and also these are the generators of W. So, these forms the basis for W which is the YZ plane. Simple? Simple, easy to understand? Alright. The second example. Prove that XY plane is a subspace of R3. Now, I am having XY plane in which there is only X axis and Y axis. So, the coordinate of Z will be 0. So, to prove that XY plane is a subspace of R3 and also I have to find the basis for the XY plane. Just similar to the previous example. But there is something more that I have also, I have to show also that XY plane is a subspace of R3. Now, how to show that this is a subspace? When a space, uh, when Suppose, let me say that this xy plane be w. When I can say that w is a subspace of R3, for that, three conditions are needed. w should be non-empty. Yes. Second, w should be the subset of R3. All right. Third, if we take any two elements from w, then the linear combinations also belongs to w. If these three conditions satisfied, then we can say that such W is a subspace of R3. Right? Okay. So, let me name this XY plane to be the W. Let W be the XY plane. Then, what kind of element the W will have? Yes. 
it is having because it is x y plane so it is having x comma y comma 0 where x y belongs to r is it fine all right to prove w is a subspace of r3 now proof is first now because already i am having an element in w so and here x y belongs to r and i know that i can take x and y to be 0 0 so 0 0 0 is the element of w because x and y can be taken as 0 0 because 0 is a, a 0 belongs to the set of the real numbers so i can take the value x to be 0 and y to be 0 and because this element x y 0 already present in w so such kind of element is should be present in w so this is also the kind of this element so this w is non empty first condition proved okay clearly obviously w is a subset of r3 this is clearly okay now let me take two elements from w let me say that one element be x1 y1 0 and the other element be named as x2 y2 0 these two u and v belongs to w I will show that for the third condition that their linear combination also belongs to W. And let me take alpha from R which is my scalar. Then I have to show that alpha U plus V belongs to R. Okay. Now since alpha U plus V can be written as alpha, what is the value of U? It is X1, Y1, 0 plus X2, Y2, 0 okay so this is alpha x1 plus x2 and this is alpha y1 plus y2 and this is 0 okay now if you look at here already alpha is belonging to r right and x1 and x2 y1 and y2 these are also belonging to r because i know that what kind of subspaces w is if i take element x y 0 then x y belongs to r so i have taken two elements from u and b two elements from w which means x1 y1 and x2 y2 is already belonging to r so their sum also belongs to r and alpha is also belonging to r so alpha into x1 their product also belongs to r so i can write that and uh just wait yes alpha x1 plus x2 and alpha y1 plus y2 these two also belongs to r now when these two belongs to r so this element will belong to w this is the element of w because we have proved that first coordinate and the second coordinate these two belongs to r okay so alpha u plus v belongs to w thus w is a subspace of r3 can you see that this alpha u plus v the value this is similar to this x y 0 the third coordinate should be 0 yes i am having 0 the first and second coordinate should belongs to r yes the first and second coordinate is belonging to R. I have shown it is already proved or it is easier to see that these belongs to R, which means alpha UV also belongs to W, which means their linear combination belongs to W. So W is a subspace of R3. Now for the basis, we have to find out the basis. For that, we need one element from W first. So let me take x comma y 0 from w right then how can i write x y 0 as the linear combination of yes x comma 0 0 plus 0 comma y 0 if you add you get x y 0 right so this is x into 1 0 0 plus y into 0 1 0 so I have shown that x, y, 0 is a linear combination of 1, 0, 0 and 
zero one zero and x y zero is a was arbitrary, which means every element of W is a linear combinations of these two vectors. So W is generated by these two vectors. Now remaining to show that these are linearly independent. For that, just take the linear combinations of them. So this is one zero zero plus beta times zero one zero equal to zero zero zero. If you solve, this is alpha, and uh, this is alpha, beta, zero. equal to 0, 0, 0. From here, you get alpha equal to beta equal to 0. All the scalar 0, which means the vectors are linearly independent. Now, since these two vectors are linearly independent and also the generators of W, so these two is a basis for W. For the basis for W, these two conditions are required and we have proved. Hence, these forms the basis for W. Fine, all right? Okay.